guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 11 of Solo Leveling, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Well, fuck the daily quest right now. <laughs> hmm? I couldn't tell if that was a person or... It, it, it was something, let's just say that. BZW, it's now 6.42, in like three minutes, my my lovely little is about to go off. I'm going to try to turn it down so it doesn't bother y'all, but even though like when 6.45 hits, it's automatically going to turn up and try to say something for tomorrow. Pina Grigia? Looks like it. Well, damn, that, babe, you screwed. You are majorly screwed. You can't use potions or anything, and you can't leave until the quest is done? Nah, baby. anything? Nope. Thank God. Tomorrow in Jacksonville, Bitch! Be partly sunny weather with a high of she waited
Holy <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Shouldn't can that be good or bad at the same time? Woo, yeah, can we? <laughs> But it's not a personal project, though, and I don't think he's going to get in your way. But damn, you don't have to literally threaten your brother. I mean, I wasn't going to say that his brother seems like an asshole, but yeah, like, damn. See, uh, on the range of scale, is this like a fucking UR type of dungeon? Oh my god. You might as well take it. Okay. <laughs> well, unlike someone. <laughs> I got a really bad feeling about this. It's 
It's a fucking night. Now, if he, like, does flash step, I'm done. In a way, he really just did that shit. Oh, hell no. Nah. Mm-mm. <laughs> Because it's only been like less than what two minutes and he's got him on him like twice. Hella close. I mean, babe, there's no way in hell that you're going to be able to defeat somebody who is on the same speed as you, let alone powerful than you. What you going to do? Do fucking hand-to-hand -hand combat? Are you serious? Are you that dumb enough, though? Like, Why? Men. I, I mean, I ain't mad at it, but like, <laughs> uh, okay. I felt like that took you down to zero, in my opinion. You should be, well, you really shouldn't be dead dead, but you should be, you know, something should be broken. Let's just say that.
Mm-hmm. And, and see, honestly, he, he is nowhere near stopping. him out for like a sec not even a second a millisecond and then he wakes back up what the fuck is that shit are you fucking kidding me Oh, hell no. Holy shit, oh my god. I, I, I'm guessing so, yeah. Right. I mean, do you know how many close moments you fucking had throughout this 11 episode series? Right? Hmm? That's all? Okay, gold's good. You can, you know, get extra money with that. Could use the gold for his mom still though. Cause he going way back up. What the fuck?
All you can say after that is good luck. Oh my god. Kiss my ass. Okay. Time to get out. Get out. I'm thinking we had 21 minutes. Okay. He gets hit. He fucking drops the teleportation stone. The fucking crystal. He's fucking screwed. We only have one more officer left, I'm guessing. Either one or two more. I'm, I gotta make sure after I'm done recording this and Blue Archer says. But, a big old butt butt. Um, Endurance test was not on my bingo card for today's episode. Literally, a test of strength would be like, oh yeah, how far can you last? He should have left after, not even questioning it. Yeah, why did they give me a teleportation crystal? Because if it was me, I would have been like, hey yo, okay, time to go. Don't need it anymore. Go on, Got, gotta go home, gotta go home. Right. Mm. Okay. Ooh. I'm scared. I am scared for him. I have no idea how this is going to transpire. This is too much. And we only have one episode left. Like, my, my biggest issue, once again, with this show, like, how are you going to conclude this all in an episode for, like, a quote-unquote potential second season, you know? And... Like, is he going to achieve, like, what? He's already got a second in Awakening. Is he going to achieve a third? Has, like, because you know what? Has anybody ever achieved a third Awakening in this show? Probably not, because he's already, like, at the beginning of the fight with the knight, he was good. He, you know, no blood was spewing, but now in this freaking endurance as to how long you can stay, he's already getting bruised up even more. And he's already gotten cut up, like, several different times. He's not losing as much blood as he was in, like, the first two episodes of the show. But at the same time, looks can be deceiving. Anything can happen by next week. But, yeah. Mm. Baby. I don't know. I, I don't fucking know. Yeah, I'm going I'm to cross our right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was a good episode, though. Just, I, I love the fact that we're, especially with the group who's going to the island right now, I am hoping that next week we do get to see what all transpires with them next week. Because, I mean, it would make the most sense because it's like, I, I wouldn't like it if we had the whole episode focus on Jinwoo and then not knowing anything about what all happened, you know, while he's doing other things. Now, the, the guy that Jinwoo is working with 
his brother. I really don't like him. He He's very much like the looks can be deceiving. He's very somewhat fishy. I mean, his dad also seemed like an a-hole too, but it's something about the first son. It's always the first son. Sometimes in animes who are like the biggest dickheads. And, and he seems like that. To even, to go to the point of threatening your brother over stuff and saying that what he's doing is just a personal project. That's it. It's nothing more, nothing less that, you know, he could really, you know, make into something more and such. Just, once again, putting him down before seeing the actual work. Because all he sees at the end of the day, and I feel like, you know, most people I've met, most, mm, I'll say men and women, because, like, I've seen women also like this as well. Um, it's the money factor. They only see how much you've spent and not how much you've clearly saved. I mean, like, oh, okay, you're irresponsible. So I feel like the older brother definitely thinks that his younger brother is a little irresponsible. Like, oh, you're buying all these poor, um, these gates and such. That's a little reckless. I feel like, damn, once again, don't be a dick. Sit your ass down. Shut up. I am. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to this episode 11 of Solo Leveling. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for the final episode. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.